Hello and welcome to today's video on how to create virtual hard disk in Windows Server 2012 R2. We can create virtual hard disk by using the disk management snapping or through HAPO-V and through saw manager file and storage services. In this video, we only focus on by using disk management. So let's start the demonstration. First of all, you have to open a saw manager. On a saw manager, click on tools. From tools, select computer management. Once you open a computer management, click on left side name disk management. Right click on disk management and select create VHD. Now on the console, you can specify the location where you want to store your VHD file. Click on browse and the purpose of this video demonstration, I will store on my E drive folder name VHD. Now specify the name of our virtual hard disk. It will be a VDisk1. Click on save. Now here you can specify the size for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's specify the size 10 GB. So we'll create VDisk1 of 10 GB in a size. Now here we have options to select virtual hard disk format, VHD and VHDX. VHD can support virtual disk up to 2 TB approx in a size and VHDX can support virtual disk larger than 2 TB in a size. It will support up to maximum of 64 TB in a size. Now here we have options for virtual hard disk type. Select Either fixed size or dynamically expanding, this is also referred to as a thin or fixed provisioning. Dynamically expanding disk will start out small and then grow as data is written. If the data is deleted, the virtual disk does not reduce in a size. And if you select a fixed size, the virtual hard disk file is allocated to its maximum size when the virtual disk is created. So for this demonstration, I will select dynamically expanding and then click on OK. After VHDX is created successfully, it would be mounted to Windows system automatically and its drive icon is different than our physical disk. Now as you are seeing, the icon is different from our disk 0. Now let's initialize this disk. Select MBR partition table and click on OK. Let's create a partition. Select new volume. Click on next, next, next next and finish this will create a one partition of 10 gb no size and assign a drive letter f now let's open on my computer on a e drive under vhds see the size of our virtual hard disk is 196 mb now let's put some data under uh, our partition f now let's again open file explorer from a C drive. Let's uh, copy some files. Copy and uh, let's put inside the F drive. Please do it there. Okay. Now if you see the size of our V disk one is increased to 228 MB. And if we delete the data, save delete, click on yes and click on yes. Okay, now again, click on refresh, see the size is 228 MB, means it didn't decrease after you delete the data from the hard drive. Okay, let's come back to again disk management and let's create uh, another virtual hard disk. Click on browse, let's specify the name, vdisk2, click on save. Now here, let's specify the size 1 GB, and select VHDX and this time we want to create a fixed size virtual hard disk. Click on OK. And that's done. Once the virtual hard disk create, it will be automatically mount under your disk management. See, we have a disk too. Let's initialize the disk. Let's MBR partition table. Click on OK. Let's create one uh, partition. OK. That's done. Now we have a drive letter G. Again, let's open the VHDS folder and here we have a VDisk2. But if you see the size of VDisk2 is 1 GB. Means when we create a VDisk2, that time we assign a 1 GB size and it will be reserved all the size at the time of the VHD creation. Now let's detach this uh, virtual hard disk. Click on Detach VHD. Click on OK how we can again mount the virtual hard disk to our disk management. Just right click on a disk management, select attach VHD, click on browse and select the virtual hard disk. Now we have VDisk2, click on open 
and if you want to mount this uh, virtual hard disk as a read only that time you can select this checkbox and then click on ok and as you are seeing a virtual hard disk is mounted successfully under our disk management okay now we mount the our vhd as a read only let's try to copy certain data inside the hard drive let's uh, copy again some files from c drive and uh, try to copy under our g drive paste and it is this give us a warning that a disk is write protected remove the write protection or use another disk click on cancel so this is the way how you can create a vhd and how you can mount a vhd in windows server 2012 r2 by using disk management snapping that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video